Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Uh, Tony Torrance here. We are going to work with the new um, double barrel popper and slider bodies, um, also called the Surface Seducer, from Flyman Company, Fishing Company. I have one here that's already uh, finished up, and I just wanted to show a couple examples of what you could do uh, with these uh, new bodies. Um, I've applied some Copic markers to add some features to the popper head. Um, also you can use your Copic spray brush and uh, some mesh to create patterns. The nice thing about this product is it uh, the package tells you to use the eye size four millimeters and a number two hook. Um, I'm going to put the hook in the vise here. And I already have the popper head with the bodkin through it. And you just try to get it as straight as you can through the body and level through the, level through the body. We're going to apply some thread. I've got some 10 Vivis in the vise or uh, in the bobbin. And we're just going to wrap this and get a good coating of thread over the surface area of the hook. And then I'm going to I want to get up near the eye as well. Just make sure you cover it pretty well. A little whip finish on here. Now you can use um, Zappa Gap, but what I have found Zappa Gap works fine, but Gorilla Glue works better. Um, you can get this at any hardware store. Um, be careful with it, it can stain clothing. What you do is you take a little bit of water on a brush and just apply it to the thread and get the thread nice and moist. Um, that acts as a catalyst for this uh, glue and the glue expands and fills any voids that are underneath the popper body. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Gorilla Glue. To my hook, it doesn't take a lot because like I said it will expand. And I'm just going to coat this. I'm not going to coat it a lot in the back because as I push the popper body on, it will um, get a little more in the front than in the back. It will push over with the uh, popper body over that portion of the thread. So just take this and just start rotating it. And I'll take a toothpick and just kind of clean up the excess back here. I will take this out of the vise and just get that hook set so it's just sticking out a little way so it makes it a little bit easier and line everything up. And then I'm going to set this off. This takes an hour or so to dry. Um, so I've got this one on just for the purpose of showing you how to do that. And then I will pull out this one and we will finish one off. Get a little thread on here. Um, I've been experimenting with a lot of different materials and this is a brush. Um, it is Puglisi's uh, Senyo Chromatic Brush 3 inch wide Tiger and I'm just going to tie this in back here. And then brush these fibers back as I come forward. And it will look like an abomination until I brush this out. So just bear with me while we get this material on. I'm going to 
take my brush here and just kind of brush as I go. I'm just going to put about three wraps on here is all. Maybe four. Use my old scissors to clip this. These have been relegated to clipping wire these days. And then tie this off real good. So now I'll take my little Velcro brush and brush this material out real good. And it has, you know, some flash in it. You can add flash if you would like to um, have a little more. So that's kind of an optional part, but that'll give a nice wiggly tail. And next I've got uh, some bugger pack from Whiting and the Grizzly dyed orange. I'm going to wrap these over the fibers. gets it to lay flat when you lay the thread over some of the fibers and then match these up so they're even. Just kind of mess with them to get them where you want them. So when that gets wet that'll all kind of come together. Trim these ends. Not a terribly complex fly to tie, um, but the heads, you can, I mean, you can run them just plain Jane if you like to, and that works just fine. But I kind of thought I would show what you could do with the Copic materials to uh, jazz them up a little bit. Next, we're going to tie in some uh, Grizzly Variant Saddle Hackle Tied Brown. just to make a collar at the front. I want to get that right up against that popper body so I don't leave a big gap. And I'll trim off Okay, so now we'll see if I can get my whip finisher to go over this bad boy. Yep. And put a couple whip finishes on there and then you can apply some cement if you, if you uh, would like to. Step. We only have one step left to do here and that's to run our legs through the body. And I can't remember the name of this tool but I will post it in the tying instructions. I'm just going to take our rubber legs, apply a little bit of saliva to the legs, and just pull them right back through. There we go. And there you have the new double barrel surface seducer popper. Thanks again for watching and good luck uh, with your tying.